Hello everybody. On this video, I want to answer the question that many beginners ask me, and that question is basically, when can I, can I take the next step? By step, I mean, when should I move on from JS to uh, React? When should I move on from Node.js, uh, from REST to GraphQL? Like, when should I take the next step? Um, this is a hard question to ask, and I've been through this a long, long, lots of times because I've been learning by myself on the internet forever. And it's always hard to know when to take the next step because two things can happen if you do it wrong. One thing is that you never, you never take the next step and you feel stuck and that is not encouraging you and then you feel frustrated, which is not good. And the other one is that you take the next step too quickly. So you move on from very basic JavaScript to React. And then what you learn there doesn't make sense and you don't know why you're learning it. You don't see the benefits and then you just give up because it was too much. And then you don't feel like you wanna ever go back there because it was too much uh, to learn. The best thing that I found that I did and what I think people could do to improve this next step decision is to build a, pro a project, to build a side project that pushes the limits of what you already know. So I'm gonna give you an example. Um, there is a game in Korea called Catch Mine, and I am making a clone of that game. And on this game, it's very dynamic and there's many things happening. And if you do this game only with vanilla JS, you will start to see why you need React, because you will see the parts where vanilla JS kinda sucks. You will see like, oh, I wish I could do this, but I can't with vanilla JS. So you start seeing what you don't have on your current position. So my position is, I'm gonna do this with vanilla JS, and I'm gonna push it as hard as I can only with vanilla JS. And it's, it's when you do this, when you push the technology that you already know, and you push it to the limit, that you will find the aspects where that technology is lacking. So for example, if you want to do a very dynamic page, try to do it with vanilla JS only. And then when you go all the way, you will see, oh, it would be nice if I could just refresh this variable, or it would be nice if I could divide this file in many mini files. And then you realize, huh, maybe that's why people learn React. What is React? And then if you move on to React, you will see like, oh my God, it's so much easier now. But it will only make sense because you needed it before. So for example, if you're working with REST, and you are doing a lot of requests and it's a pain in the ass. Push it as hard as you can until you see how REST is weak. And then you'll be like, got it. Okay, REST sucks, we need an alternative. What about GraphQL? Then you will learn GraphQL because you need to learn GraphQL to solve the weaknesses that you found on REST. It'll be the same thing everywhere. Just push it to the limit and see and realize Ha, I got it, that's why people learn this thing. But this wouldn't make sense if you don't push the previous thing that you learned um, before. If you don't push it to the limit, then you wouldn't see the weaknesses, then you wouldn't see the benefits of taking the next step. So that's it, that's my opinion. I think that if you follow this rule of thumb, uh, you're gonna get uh, further away because what you learn will make sense to you. So yeah, just push whatever you're learning, whatever you think that you're ready and you wanna take the next step, push what you already know to the limits. And then when you find what, whatever that is and you find those weaknesses, then move on to the next step. Uh, that's it, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of this video. If you like it, please leave a thumbs up. If you leave a thumbs up, please share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comments. I really reply to all the comments. I really read all the comments, translate them in Papago. I really do that. So please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. And that's it. Go with kimchi. See ya.